Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal, and we are joined by Regan Moniz and Emily Running, who are chairing the Foundation for Belmont Education's Virtual Spelling Bee and Trivia Event. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. So I want to welcome you, Regan and Emily. The Spelling Bee has been an annual event sponsored by the Foundation for Belmont Education in years past. This year's event on February, on Saturday, February 6th, will be a little different. So Emily, I understand the spelling bee will be virtual this year because of the ongoing pandemic. What differences can we expect? Yes, yeah, so the big differences are obviously we're all at home. Um, we're gonna split it into two different kinds of bees. The first is the all ages bee. So that would be anyone actually. Um, it could be made up of a family. It could made up, be made up of um, some friends, um, but uh, the, the cap at people who are not in a family would be four people. Okay. Um, and um, the questions are going to vary quite a bit. Um, so although we will still be asking spelling questions, um, the idea is for the all ages, we'll be asking a range of questions so that everyone in the family can participate and feel like they're contributing. Um, and then later in the night, we're, we have a, a different B, which is just targeted at teens. So middle school and up and even adults. Um, and the great thing is, is that in the past, we haven't included that age category before. And I think it'll be a really fun opportunity for some of the adults in town to get together and um, participate um, in the event. So, so Regan, that's a big difference from the past, um, opening this up to adults to participate, you know, create teams and participate. Is this partly to gain wider participation? participation and are you hoping to reach a broader segment of the community? Yeah, I would say it is because of that. And also because since we're moving things online, we have more freedom to do something like that and hold two different styles of event. Um, we don't need to rent out the space or, or whatever. So it's just easier to you know, hold two different styles of event. Um, and actually there used to be an adult spelling bee in uh, Belmont. So it was originally, okay. Um, until they changed it in, you know, sometime in the 21st century. I can't remember the exact I think it was year. years ago. But, like yeah. but it used to be um, grownups. And then we switched it to kids. And now it's kind of, yeah, it's fun to now open it up to really anyone who can join. Well, well, that's great. So, so Emily, tell us how students, families, and adults can register to participate in the B. Sure. So starting on January 19th, the registration will open. Um, the best way would be to go to the FBE Belmont website and find the link. But there'll be lots of opportunities if you check your email to um, click on the links when they come in your inbox through listserv. And um, also you can find us on social media. So there'll be links that way. Uh, the reg registration period is from the 19th to the 29th. And then the event is actually held on the 6th. Okay, and so, so, so Regan, um, how is the Foundation for Belmont Education getting the word out about the bee? Okay, so there we are, first of all, sending out emails that go through a listserv to the school community um, to let people know that it's going on and uh, you know, link them to information about what to expect. And then we're also running a campaign through social media. So both on Instagram and on Facebook. And we would love for anybody who's watching to follow us, uh, follow the FBE on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll actually be giving little previews of some of the questions that will in fact appear in the, uh, in the actual game. So, it, you know, you get a little advantage if you follow the FBE on social media, either Instagram or Facebook. Okay, um, that's, or both. That like fun. Uh huh. Um, Emily, let me let me ask you about about this. This is this is such an important fundraising event for the the Foundation for Belmont Education and and ultimately the school system. What are some of the things that that the foundation funds? And um, do you want to tell us about some of your sponsors as well? Sure. We're, we feel really lucky that we have some really amazing sponsors and Carolyn Boyle with Gibson Sotheby's, um, Russian School of Math, Spirited Gourmet, um, the Belmont Chinese American Association, they've all signed up. 
Um, and um, getting back to what the FBE does, um, in the course of the time the FBE has been open, we've given back over $4 million worth of grants and programs back to the community. It's a mostly volunteer run organization. So almost all the money that we generate goes right back to the schools. Um, right now we're doing some rapid response grants. So when teachers or administrators submit a grant, we're turning it on really, turning it around really quickly within a week or two. Um, normally it's a much longer process and only once or twice a year. Um, with the idea that during this year, during the pandemic, there are just special needs that um, would be different this year than other years. Um, already this year, we've, um, we've done some different kinds of grants. Like um, uh, we did a grant where we provided um, some of the orchestra students with the ability to do some recording at home so they could collaborate with that. Um, and then over the course of the years, we've, um, we've sponsored um, robotics, uh, robotics equipment and um, 3D printers and music, musician and residency programs. Um, one other program that we've sponsored this coming year is uh, all the sixth graders are going to be sent home a little robot so that um, they can put together a robot at home and um, be able to take advantage of their the, those that tech. I think it's called education and tech class mm -hmm. that would normally would be in person, but obviously it has to happen at home. So some really great programs that all are enriching the education of our students. Well, we, we certainly appreciate it. And um, and I'll just say again, this is happening on Saturday, February 6th. Um, and um, and Emily and Regan, if you can tell us again uh, what what the um, what the dates are for registering, just so that people don't forget. Sure, it's January nineteenth to the 29th. and um, if you know, register early, and you'll start getting information about you know what kinds of questions will be, what kinds of things you should be studying up on to um, to really get a prize. There are prizes. There's uh, so we're we're offering some exciting stuff. Um, yeah. And you know, I also wanted to mention um, there. You you know, if any businesses are out there, small businesses. I'm actually also a sponsor of the Bee. I have a small test prep company, and um, I uh, the Cheeky Monkey in uh, Belmont Center is also a sponsor. Um, there are plenty of ways to sponsor also with prizes. Um, Belmont Books will be offering a prize. So for businesses out there who are watching, um, certainly contact uh, the FBE about sponsorship um, opportunities or prize donations. Regan, do you also want to mention who our hosts are? Yes, I would love to mention our hosts. So we have, as you know, two Bs, the family B going on from um, three to five uh, or from some period in, in there. Um, and also starting at seven, the uh, teen and adult B. And for the family B, we have uh, Patrick Monjo, who's at um, Burbank School teaching the second grade. He's a really popular teacher there. So I think um, that's gonna be great. He's, people are gonna be excited to see him. And for the fam, uh, for the teen and adult B, we have Allie Lacasse, who is the band director at Belmont High School. And um, she's somewhat new to the school and is really excited to you know, meet more people in the community. Well, this is great. Thank you so much for talking with us, um, Regan Moniz and, and Emily Running, co-chairs of this year's Foundation for Belmont Education Spelling It Bee and Trivia event, and we all hope the bee is a success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.